Want to learn advanced masking with Filmora 11? Stay tuned. Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today I'm going to show you how I achieved these advanced masking video with Filmora 11. Let's begin. First you're going to need some clips. Filmora 11 includes a new feature called Stock Media where you can go to Pixabay, Unsplash, Jiffy and just download some stuff. So I've got some related images here forest, some trees, wintertime trees, and the scene of a river with some trees. So what you want to do is start lay layering your images onto the tracks. Now for now, I chose this song, Teardrop Sky. Uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and mute that and get it out of the way, because that can be the first thing you add, or it can be the last thing you add. If you want to attempt to time your video to the music beat, uh, I would set the beat and add your music first. Uh, in this case, we're for this example, we're just going to put it in last and not really try to edit to the beat. Let's get our first two images figured out. Um, so I'm just going to hide the other tracks for now. And we'll go over all of those in a minute. And the first thing you're going to want is to figure out what do you want to expose with your mask. What do you want the viewer to see? Well, I wanted you guys to see this scene first, and then we expose the river and the trees behind it. And to achieve that, place what you want to expose on the first track. Put your second track above it. Double click. Go to the new masks tab right here on Filmora 11. Choose your shape. I chose a rectangle. And you can already see my mask here. So I started at the beginning and I ended at the end. And you can see what I did. Is I changed the scale and the height. And when it gets to over here to the end, I brought the width and the height to zero gave it a little bit of blur effect and initially just scaled that up and left it scaled because that's the way I needed it for the picture and if we go back in view we can watch the top here change as we come across the screen now this is a really good thing to do when you're making your own mask don't just type it in and go actually run it back and forth because you can edit here you can say wait a minute I don't like that height and you can change it on the fly if you do change it on the fly um, you can get some really cool effects so that's how I brought this image in to this image so why did I leave this image here why didn't I cut that image it's because if you watch the video I'll unhide the next part because I want that to stay as we expose the next scene which I placed on the third track same idea double click go over to your new masking feature okay. and let's watch it play back and where did that star come from it's simple I chose a star okay so here at the beginning you can click on these to get back to the beginning. No scale, and everything else was the same. You can see me, see what I'm doing. I'm changing the scale, I'm not changing the height and width. I also added a rotation, which maxed out at 360 degrees. At that point, I'm done with the green behind. So I cut that clip and deleted the remainder of it, didn't need it anymore. As we move forward, I'll unhide the next track for you. Now, same idea. We need this to be visible, this winter scene, until the scene on top is finished. So, don't cut your clips too quick. So we come across, and now we're going to start the new one. Now, this is a little more complicated because I did two masks in one. 
Let's go over to mask and you can see what I did. The first mask I did, I used double lines for all of this. Double lines, that's what we got here. Line and a line and that exposes what's underneath in which in this case is the scene of the river moving or like a drone shot over the river and let me roll it down for you a little bit you can see how I achieved this step by step you see what I did right there I rotated it 90 degrees let me put that marker right on it so all I did for my lines was rotate it 90 degrees and I set the width where I wanted it to be from zero to what does it land on like 15.61 or whatever you can set that width whatever you want then from that width I kept the scene at 90 degrees without rotating for the next mask and watch the width see what I did I just increased the width until it came off the screen then for Special effects, nothing to do with the mask. I added a little effect here. Just a little purple flare effect, just to give it a little something. And then I added my music underneath to get the whole thing. I won't play it all, but you can get the idea now. Now I could have spun that out, a left or right. I could have shrunk it from top to bottom, you know, there's, the, you're almost unlimited now with what you can do with keyframe and mask in Filmora 11. That's it, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave me any comments that you want. And click that like button. I would appreciate it. And we'll see you soon on the next amazing Filmora 11 video.